So what is up guys? It is me again. And yeah. Uh yeah. Um I'm using this face cam here for this new tutorial I'm doing on how to reset your nether um in Minecraft because not not so long ago 1.5.1 and 1.5 came out. So a new mineral was introduced to the nether which is quartz quartz and that's make no quartz blocks so yeah um but if you if you've um have your nether since 1.4 and below or whatever then you'll have to go really really far to generate um the quartz because the place your nether where you started before 1.5 um is basically 1.5 and below so that means quartz won't generate in the area that you've been before so it'll generate like really far so yeah i'm doing this new face cam thing hope you guys like it and chance to see my setup as you can see i use this microphone here pretty nice microphone i got it for like eight bucks on amazon and i use this thing here the adapter that connects to this this thing that has a bunch of tentacles on it and yeah that's what i pretty much use to record in my headphones so the audio will be kind of better from the computer so all right let's get started um so first off <clears throat> what you want to do is go into your Minecraft folder. Folder. Uh, then you want to go into your Minecraft, your Finder. Then go into Minecraft. Go into your Saves, and go into the. Go into your world that you mainly use. For me, it's this world. And then there, you'll see these two folders. D D I M. <coughs> Sorry. D I M. Mm, slash or whatever that's called one and DIM one so then one these two are for the end and for the nether uh, I'm not really sure which two of them are so what I did is I just put made a copy of both of them down here just in case and yeah so then what you do is just select these both both of these and just delete them move them to your trash bin files you can see I have them right here because I already did this move it into your trash and then just leave it at that just close finder and then make sure your Minecraft is closed. Then open it again. And I have my Minecraft right here. So, just like that. And then, oh, there is this thing. Uh, go into your world that you've selected. And then, okay. Uh, I've already been here, so. Just look at that. And I have a new mod installed. Three new mods installed. So I hope you guys enjoy that mod I will I will review it later. So I want you to do is just go into your nether portal. You don't have to make a new one, just go in to generate a new one, so then you'll see that. And then you'll um be in this new place. The good thing about my spawn is that um you'll likely you'll likely spawn underground. So you have to do some digging. But luckily me, I spawned right here. And I have access to that. And then now you can see the nether quartz over there. I have some quartz here. And yeah, so that's basically it. That's how easy it is. So let's just go in here and discover what I have. I have like the best spawn. Wait, what? The best spawn ever, but. Whoa. Was this? Boy. This looks like my, my spawn before. Is it my spawn? Oh yeah, that's awesome. So luckily, my whole thing wasn't okay. I'm laughing a little bit. Oh, my whole thing wasn't destroyed. I'm just going to regular mode. That's it. So whole ver thing. God, that nothing was really like taken off. Just it. It looks like it's just the world. The nether world just generated. Just didn't change anything. Just like added another quartz. So that's pretty awesome. So now I get to have my old stuff just with new stuff in it, like another quartz. So I, I hate when it lags me over. Because that lag killed me once and I have the best stuff ever. I was like trying to make a bridge to over, across over there. And I pretty much failed and then the lag killed me. So see, there's another quartz all over the place. And then my nether fortress. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, see, yeah. The good thing I liked about my spawn was there's two nether fortresses close to me. There's one, this one here. Oh, crap. Ah. Oh, oh, you want to fight? Die. 
else we get. Hopefully we get it like here. Oh yeah, that's pretty awesome. And I have nether cores, like infinite nether cores. Um, they say that nether cores is pretty much iron, like iron of the nether world. So, yeah. Oh, just one part. So as you can see, there's like a lot of nether quartz around me. And I still have my old stuff. I don't know if it happens to everybody, but yeah. I have my nether fortress there, one there. And then I have another one. Okay, I gotta get up here. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of different though. Oh, nether quartz. So I will be harvesting all of this here, so. Uh, all right, uh, really? Yeah, I'm not using my mouse now because it's just a tutorial here. Oh man, how can I get out? Oh, I did too much. Alright, let me do something. Yeah. Alright, so I can get out here maybe? Yeah, perfect. So yeah, so there's one other fortress there. I don't know if it connects to the one that's over here. Yeah, no, no it doesn't. So there's one over there, and there's one over there, as you can see, so... Pretty awesome spawn, and nothing changed really. It probably changes where you spawn, but your nether doesn't really change that much. So, yeah, so that's pretty good. About I didn't, I didn't really know that, so it's pretty awesome. So now you get oh, all right, just gonna take this down and then push it over. Die, you oh, you don't want to die? Die now. Ah, I totally missed it. <clears throat> ah, that missing no. Ah, oh, what the hell? Damn it, why is my aim back? Mm. Dead. Alright, so yeah. That's the episode for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this new tutorial. Pretty awesome one. So yeah, that's how you get reset your nether for your nether your nether world. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah. Goodbye.